Hey guys, what we're going to be talking about today is how to load your ping in online games. Most commonly first person shooters and sometimes uh, MMORPGs such as Counter Strike Global Offensive, Call of Duty, Battlefield 4, and World of Warcraft, Guild Wars 2, and even maybe some Diablo 3. In order to do this, we're going to have to go into the registry editor in the computer to add in a couple things. And this will help us reduce our ping and improve our response time in game. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit up the start button and type in reg edit. Hit enter. And this is going to bring up our registry editor. Usually when you open up your registry editor, it will sometimes look small like this. We want to go ahead and increase this. That way it will be a little easier to see what folders we're opening up during this process. The folder we want to hit is HKey Local Machine. And right now it's already expanded down for us. The next folder we're going to go into is System. Then we're going to go ahead and click on Current Control Set and expand that. Services is going to be our next one. And this will give us a pretty big list of folders. If you just highlight one and tap T, that will get us really close to what we want to go for. And the folder is called TCPIP. You see there are multiple different ones here. We want to go for the one that's lowercase. The only uppercase letter is the T. Go ahead and expand that. And step into parameters. And then interfaces. Once we're in interfaces, we see a couple folders, two, three, four, maybe six, that have different types of hex code. We're going to look for the one that gives us a DHCP IP address that is not all zeros. Now, and these two folders are blank. Uh, but once we hit this folder, we have each DHCP IP address that's all zeros. It's not the one we want. And this folder as well. So, excuse me, one folder that does not have that. And the one folder that we want to hit up here, well, we see that we do have a value. And you can cross-reference this value and check this value, this 192.168, by simply opening up your command prompt. So we'll just go into Start, type in CMD, and just press Enter. And then in order to find that, you type in IP config. And boom. Our IPv4 address is 192.168.1.111, which matches our value over here. So now that we know that we've selected the correct folder, we're going to add two things in this folder to increase you know, our performance and decrease that ping. So we're going to make sure you got this nothing selected in this box here. We're going to right click, go to new and add it a D word 32 bit value. Now most people get confused by this because they say, well, I have a 64 bit operating system. Well, at this point, it actually doesn't matter. Where, uh, whether you have a 64 bit or a 32 bit operating system, you're still going to choose D word 32 bit value. You're going to click on that and it's going to give you a new value and it's going to let you name that. Well, the first one we're going to name is called, once again, TCP ACK frequency. And make sure that is all lowercase. I'm going to hit enter. And then hit enter again. And this will bring up the edit to D word value screen. We're going to change this value data from 0 to 1. And make sure this stays as hexadecimal. You don't need to change the base. Just keep it as hexadecimal, change the value data to 1. If for some reason tapping enter on this doesn't work, oh, you can always right click and go to modify. And it'll bring up the exact same screen. The second value and the final value that we're going to add is called TCP no delay. It's also going to be a D word 32 bit value. Now, the way that this is spelled is sort of specific. You want to make sure that you have TCP capitalized, the N and no capitalized, and the D and delay capitalized, just like that. Go to enter to finish that and enter again to open it up. Change that value data to 1. And go ahead and hit OK. And it's as simple as that. With those two values added into the registry editor, your ping should easily improve somewhere between 25 to 50 ms. 
and allow you to have a lot better performance in game and response time. If you guys have any questions, feel free to fill them out in the comment section below. And uh, I hope you found this guide useful and uh, efficient for you. Thanks for watching.